What is up, humans of the cardboard? Welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, it's early. It's a little bit early for your boy, but I've got a doctor's appointment an hour away. Normal checkup stuff, nothing crazy there, but um, so I'm up a little earlier than normal, and uh, I actually woke up even a little bit earlier than I meant to, but I actually saw that there's some cool news, so I want to talk about it real quick, get it out to you guys, because it is a cool little drop Konami just left for us uh today so today we're looking at ocg structure deck alba strike and there's a new v jump promo card that actually looks kind of interesting as well so we'll be talking about both of those first so the new structure deck is called alba strike as you can tell that kind of it uh it kind of insinuates that it, it's going to be a fallen of alba's structure deck which is really really cool because we keep getting these new archetypes where we jump from one to the other and they're all really cool you know going from dogmatica to uh tri brigade to spring ins to despia and it's really really cool they're all like cool in their own way um but the one thing is that like it feels like fallen of alba is kind of getting left behind uh, especially as far as like being more competitive i mean right now we've seen dogmatic be really competitive tri brigade be super competitive um Despia seems like it has potential to be there combined with other fusion archetypes. Spring and still lags behind a little bit, but they can't all be winners. And but the one thing that has stayed tried and true is that Fallen of Hobbits has really not found a spot um competitively. Like at any point, really. I mean, maybe you we've seen some spicy texts of people playing dragon links that you could like spheres disrupt your opponent, then summon him and super poly your opponent. That could be kind of strong, but other than weird things like that, we really haven't seen Fallen of Albaz end up getting um, his own thing. And I think we can all agree that he's actually a pretty good, pretty damn strong card. Uh, just obviously his problem is uh, they haven't really built around him as much. Like they, there's, there's small cards here and there, and the branded stuff seems to help him a little more than the other tar archetypes have. But um, I'm really excited to see what they go, what they do with this. I'm, I'm hoping they essentially just like make him his own archetype, like legitimately um maybe i mean i don't know what's cool is that all the archetypes do have a weird little spot for him they all have like the their own fusions in their own archetypes that like have a chance to like summon him or search or summon him uh when those fusions are sent to grave for the most part and that's really cool um maybe they just try and flesh that out a little bit more they try and like really really go further in on the ability to like combine them with those archetypes or they'll just give him his own archetype and i would be really really okay with that as well so i don't really know let's read through a little bit of this stuff real quick though just in case <clears throat> the newest pre-constructed deck in the ocg structure deck alba strike will be released on december 4th so that's defense december 4th in the ocg guys keep that in mind so we'll see if we get this we'll, we'll get this couple months into 2022 um whatever um, this deck will focus on Fallen of Albaz, who took in all sorts of power to transform into a dragon, as well as fusion monsters. Furthermore, all the token cards that will be featured in the token pack included, uh, included with the product will feature new art and super rare cards in the token pack will also be available as secret rares. Okay, kind of cool. And then... Um, New Yo OCG Dual Monsters, Archery Elder Strike, December 4th, Tsunami, Product Contents. It's one pre constructed deck with a token pack, five cards per pack with five super rare cards total. I have no idea what will be included in there overall. Um, and a special fields uh, single player dueling guide. Further information about the structure deck, Alba Strike will be revealed in the V Jump and Weekly Shonen Jump magazine. So that'll be cool. Just have to keep an eye on that. We'll probably get more information. And the closer we get, obviously, we will start to get actual card reveals. But for right now, even in the OCG, they're three and a half months away from getting this product. So I'm not going to rush into this, but it is just cool to keep in mind. I do like just talking about this, throwing it out there, being like, oh, keep this in mind. Albaz is finally getting his actual own product and he's not just like a side situation for this whole you know uh albaz lore um as far as how you know he's played in the game um but we'll see i think it's really exciting i think if you were contemplating buying your own copies of fallen of albaz i think this might be the push to really really be like mm, maybe you should 
maybe you should do it because if this structure deck is insane for him then like obviously the, that becomes a big deal but he's also probably going to be in the structure deck so it depends if you want like the, the highest rarity nicest copies around okay um next up we move to the v jump promo obviously again keep in mind this is a uh ocg v jump promo we don't do v jump promos anymore in the tcg so we'll just get this imported somewhere else at some point but this is propitious warrior lady the perfect balance between living in the wasteland and being yeeted into the dd <laughs> um yeah it does kind of just look like a combination of like dd warrior lady and um what is it like warrior lady of the wasteland is something like that of, of her name really cool like old cards that are actually that were really both good at, at different points in the game uh, anyway she's an earth warrior level three we do not know her effects yet as it tends to go with the v jump promos um uh no screen note on the name her name is used for something new and excellent it can be a new product or a young and energetic person from the picture we can infer this a warrior leader has been recently introduced in the ranks but showing great promise already a monster with great affinity with the cards printed in the world premiere pack 2021 that is the ocg's product of them getting like tcg exclusive stuff a little bit later on than us but um let's see just real quick uh she's a level three earth warrior monster that supports the battles of warrior type monsters will arrive in the november issue of the v jump magazine on sale on november 21st it also has good affinity with the war cry or war rock monsters folk uh, that focus on battles very interesting um that's never really the greatest thing in general but you never know with with genericism like i mean if konami just makes this like an extender that also has like a almost like a more modern dd warrior lady effect that could actually be pretty cool right like what if they just say you know it, it has a way to like jump out of the hand and then it says if another if if a warrior you control attacks some opponent's monster you can banish uh that monster and your opponent's monster so it's not just herself it's like anything warrior on your side of the field it's actually not bad utility especially if it's also combined into a um a uh an extender right that would uh, you know that would really open up some some cool ability playing second you know could be an out to certain things um that otherwise could be tough but uh we'll take it right like we'll just have to see how they really want to go about it that'd be really cool i mean listen d warrior lady is such a classic card in the game so many people love that card from from back in like goat format and stuff so i think i think it'd be a smart move for konami a lot of older players would, would really vibe with that if they made like a new modern d warrior lady uh card and even if it was just generic if it was just like a decent extender you know what i mean i just think of stuff like um what's his face the new the new um the new beast uh alpha right if, if it's almost like an alpha-esque card it doesn't use your normal summon or maybe even eater of millions right like it could be like an eater of millions-esque card um you know that could be something playable in certain decks so we'll just have to keep an eye on it um pretty cool stuff though definitely especially the the structure deck we'll definitely keep an eye on that we probably won't get reveals for you know of actual cards for another I don't know, month or two, uh, just because we are so far out on this one currently, but um, still really cool. We'll just keep an eye on it. I will keep you updated on all of that. Just want to make this video though, because there are these pretty cool reveals here. Uh, but thank you so much for watching as always, guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more news videos from me in the future. I love just talking about new products and, and cards when they drop. Hopefully we'll get some, some more uh, Battle of Chaos reveals soon. I uh, said is it's gonna be hype starting with dark magician stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna get that out of here. Thank you again. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.